Hello, people. It's everyone's favorite Gmail. Frosty, Frostbite, Chris, Chuck, Norris, everything. I don't know. Uh, that was a terrible intro, but hey, that's what I'm best at. Uh, this gameplay I have here is a uh, 41 3. Uh, reason I decided to post it, um, it's not so much uh, you know, on its own, it's pretty standard gameplay. But for me, I quite liked it because the whole time I was on the phone to my girlfriend. And you know, obviously that meant that my aim was off, um, you know, I wasn't completely focusing, you know, which I find quite weird, because when I am really focusing, you know, my game's pretty terrible. I mean, my aim is on, you know, when I'm in the zone, but, you know, more often than not, I get even less average gameplays, you know, like, I don't know, 21 and 5 or something, but no, 41 and 3 on the phone, I thought, you know what, that's pretty cool. And it also helps explain something that crosses my mind sometimes when I play this game. And that is uh, what I think is not the uh, Infinity Ward's best idea, or Activision, or Sledgehammer, whoever made the multiplayer, I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. But whoever made it, um, I don't completely agree with. I mean, obviously, you know, all credit to them, they did make a great game. I do enjoy it. It has its uh, downsides, I'll put it. You need to put it lightly as well. But uh, you know, the main thing I don't agree with is the fact that they've done so much to reward bad players. And you know, it's fair enough that they don't want to make it so that, okay, someone who's never played Call of Duty goes out and buys it, and they get absolutely slaughtered. That's bad for, uh, it's just bad for the game. Not everyone's going to want it. So it's fair enough to you know, give them a certain degree of an advantage. But, I mean, what they've done is just so, so awful. I mean, obviously everyone knows that Final Stand is back, even though, uh, you know, I don't even need to go into that, everyone knows about it. And also the addition of Dead Man's Hand, and I really don't need to go into that, that'll take up the rest of this commentary and probably make my throat bleed explaining that, because it'll just be me screaming over and over again. But, you know, aside from you know, bringing back death streaks, ow, sorry, cut myself with my nail, oh dear. Yeah, apart from bringing back death streaks, you know, they've also... What I don't know how. I think it might just be the way that the maps have been created and all the map layouts and things. But somehow they it just feels like they've made it more beneficial to play like a bitch. I mean, I've got a video on my channel earlier on from this where uh, one of my friends gets his first Moab. He spends the entire game in one room and sometimes branches out onto a little catwalk thing. But I mean, you shouldn't be able to get a Moab like that. There should be something something that uh, makes it easier for players to get to those kind of areas. I mean, obviously, you know, you've got Centex and stuff, but with you know, the lines of sight, this is on Seatown, and I'm sure you all know the building I'm talking about. It's pretty much right in the middle. But uh, you know, the lines of sight from it are just so, so... Uh, what's the word? They're, they're overwhelming, I guess you could say. <clears throat> I thought it was really bad this morning. And you know, as soon as you get on the right angle to throw something in there, the guy's going to look out the window and shoot you. Before, and you can't beat that. I mean, you can run up and maybe panic knife him, or but no, it's just too difficult to get to those kind of areas. And it's because of that, people sort of whore out those areas. And I've tested this. You know, I more of, well, I always, always just run in. I have no game plan whatsoever. You know, I just run around, and if I see someone, I shoot them. That's pretty much it. You know, my all my scores are completely down to reaction time and accuracy. Which, you know, I'm, I'm proud of to a reasonable degree. But, uh, I have experimented with kind of camping. You know, not sitting in a corner of a whole match and looking down a hallway. That's... No, I'd rather kill myself. But I mean the camping where sort of, you know, just holding down one building and just like checking out two windows and a door or looking down some stairs and every single time I mean I've got a game that I'm gonna put up later on it's a 55 and 2 um, you know, this game is obviously 41 and 3 I've got a 39 and nothing and just every single game that I camp on not ridiculously camp but just regular camping every game I do that I get like you know, if I'm using uh, the assault streaks, I just end up getting a really good score and not so many deaths. And it, that it, this may sound weird, but it frustrates me the fact that I do well when I play like an asshole. 
Um, oh, I feel like I should just throw in that I don't use any death streak other than juiced. Um, and maybe sometimes revenge, but I think I'd use that like one prestige, and even then I thought it was pretty horrible. So I was focusing too much on that one guy, and I sort of missed people on the radar and things. But no, juiced. I that's the only one I use. I don't even want to think about the others. It's too awful. And you same with the FMGs. I just don't want to use them because they're so overused, so overpowered. And I don't know. It's weird. I don't like using things that are completely hoard out. So I'm sure a lot of you are the same anyway. Not everyone. There are some people of my my friends list who are. Uh, well, yeah, they kind of whore out the FMGs. So yeah, okay. I'm not going to bitch on those. But no. Uh, how long have we got left? Oh, I've got enough time. Um, it's just, it feels like a shame that such bad players are rewarded so well. And the fact that Assault Streaks, um, you can just sort of go through them over and over without having to die. I mean, you know, that's what happens in, like, my 55 and 2 video that I'm yet to put up still. And, uh, it's just not right, I don't think. I mean, it's good that they recycle, but it's at the same time it's bad just because you can camp and camp and camp <coughs> and get a ridiculous score with zero gun skill and this I just find that to be a shame uh, oh looks like videos over here uh, final score as I've said several times 41 and 3 uh, another video coming up pretty soon Another quite a few more videos actually I haven't posted in a while because I've been preparing a few uh, not sure why but hey squirrel gathering nuts for the winter whatever uh, yep okay well see you guys later bye